If you do research, create content, or sell knowledge online, stop scrolling. Google just upgraded Notebook LM with powerful research, multimedia, and export tools that will change how you build digital products. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to use these new features step-by-step -step, plus five practical business models that you can start right away using Notebook LM. So just a quick summary of the biggest changes that you need to know about. Number one is the deep research, which is a new research mode that runs through background searches and returns citation back reports. Secondly is the video overviews and audio overviews. So this one Notebook LM can now produce short air generated videos and audio summaries from your notebook content. Next feature is the studio upgrades and mind maps. This one is a redesigned studio for building side decks, infographics, and an interactive mind map to visualize concepts. Next is a bigger context and memory. So this one is a much larger context window and longer chat memory for sustained conversations. So Notebook LM remembers your project. And lastly is a new file type and deeper integrations. So this one you can upload docs, Google Sheets, direct PDF URLs, and integrate better with Drive. So first we're going to set up our first steps, okay? Number one, you're going to open Notebook LM. You're going to go to notebooklm.google or access your Google account. Sign in with a Google account that has Notebook LM access. Then you're going to create a new notebook. Click new notebook and name it your topic. Next, you're going to gather resources. So Notebook LM works best with sources. You can upload PDFs, files from a computer or from URL. You can upload work documents. You can link Google Docs and Google Sheets for data, and you can also paste URLs. Next, you're going to organize your sources. So just drag your sources into sections, and this can be research, stats, examples. A good tip here is to name each source clearly so Notebook can cite it properly later. Okay, now we're going to go to the basic workflow, which is ask and summarize. So first upload three sources and ask Notebook to summarize. Okay, so number one, you're going to ask a simple question. For example, summarize the main findings from these three papers and list five implementable steps. Notebook LM will read the sources and return a grounded summary with citations. You're then going to check citations. Now, Notebook LM now attaches citations for each claim. Always click the citation to review the original paragraph. This reduces hallucinations and it's essential for trustworthy content. And then you're going to refine your answer using goals. Here you can set a custom goal, for example, create 1000 word blog post brief for beginners. Notebook LM will tailor output to that goal. New custom goals steer the assistant. Now let's look at deep research, how it works and examples. So first you're going to choose between fast, which is a quick summary and deep, which is a background plan plus running analysis that can pull in higher quality sources and produce a full research report with citations. This is perfect when you need authoritative content for an ebook, course, or even a paid report. So this is how you can use it. Click deep research mode, input target questions. So for example, what are the top 10 profitable micro SaaS niches in 2025? Notebook LM returns a research plan first, which is a scope and what it will search, then runs the analysis in the background and brings you a structured report with citations, data tables that have been sourced from link sheets, and suggested next steps. Now this is important because instead of manually vetting dozens of articles, Notebook LM generates a citation backed report that you can repurpose into a paid market report, a premium newsletter, an ebook chapter, or a downloadable lead magnet. Next we're going to look at the studio, which is the slide decks, infographics, and video overviews. The first thing that you're going to do is to open studio, and this is the upgraded studio where Notebook LM turns notes into structured visuals, which contains the slide decks, infographics, and now video overviews. For the video overviews, Notebook LM then uses the Nano Banana visual styles to generate a short explainer video. This is a brief or explainer format for your notebook content, complete with synthesized narration, animated text and visuals. You can use this as promo clips or course intros. We have the audio overview and podcast. With this, you can also export an audio overview, which is great for repurposing into podcast episodes or audio lessons. So the reason why studio matters for business is you can produce course assets, marketing videos, and paid reports faster than traditional design workflows. Now let's look at the thinking UX, which is the mind maps and quizzes. So first we need to generate mind maps, then flashcards. In order to do that, click mind map on the notebook toolbar and notebook LM will create an interactive mind map from your topics. 
which is the nodes, relationships, and expansion suggestions. You can use it to spot content gaps and create courses or modules. For the flashcards and quizzes, you can click create flashcards or quiz, a notebook LM will generate question or answer pairs tied to source citations. You can download them for learners or sell as study packs. Now this one can be important for sellers and educators because it turns a mind map into a mini course curriculum, exporting quizzes as downloadable practice tools or even sell flashcard packs for test prep or professional certification niches. Now let's look at the prompts, personas and long memory. Number one, you have the custom personas and goals. With this, you can use Notebook LM's persona feature to ask it to respond like a startup founder or explain at an eighth grade level. This makes outputs consistent for your brand voice. Number two, you have longer conversation memory. So Notebook LM now stores weeks of conversation and uses an eight times larger context window so it can remember project details without re-uploading sources. Now this is huge for multi-module course builds and long consulting engagements. Thirdly, you can prompt examples to get better output. So for example, create a seven module course outline for topic aimed at small business owners and include three downloadable resources and one launch checklist. Another one can be rewrite the executive summary as a 700 word blog post with five H2 headings and two call to actions. Another one can be generate 10 quiz questions from these sources with correct answers and one explanation per answer. Next we have export and citations. Now for export options, you can export as a video or audio or SRTs for captions and CSV or JSON for flashcards or quizzes. Now for citation transparency, every assertion notebook LM makes in deep research reports is linked to its source. Now that improves credibility for paid reports, client deliverables or published content. So always verify the top citations before publishing. So now let's look at the five real business ideas that you can start today using Notebook LM. Now the first business that you can do is sell high value research reports. Now you can use deep research market reports which is 20 to 30 pages in niche B2B verticals. And the way you want to create this is to use deep research, studio slide decks, export PDF and data extracted from linked sheets. You can then price this for 49 to 399 per report depending on niche. You can then have a 30 day plan, identify niche, run two deep research jobs, create sample, then list on Gumroad plus LinkedIn outreach to 20 prospects. The second business idea is to turn notes into micro courses. Okay, so this you can have three to six module mini courses consisting of video plus workbook plus flashcards. So in order to create this, you can use Notebook LM to generate scripts, studio to create slide decks and video overviews and then export audio or video and then stitch with the script. And this one you can price it at 19 to 199 per course and you can also offer bundles. Another thing that you can do is to offer a 30 day plan, pick topic, create outline, record three lessons using video overview plus the script and then you sell via Gumroad or System.io. The third business idea is research as a service or a consulting offer. So with this you can offer a paid research deliverables or competitive analysis for founders. So in order to create this you can run a deep research export deck plus annotated bibliography and provide a one-on-one -on -one review call. You can then price this at 300 to even 3000 per engagement. You can also do a 30 day plan and build a one page offer and send cold emails to 50 startups and deliver two pilot reports. The fourth business idea is content repurposing agency. This one is going to contain videos plus social clips. With this, you can use Notebook LM to produce long form guides, then generate video overviews and audio clips to create social content bundles. So the way this one works, just use Notebook LM studio video overview and repurpose into 10 reels or shots. With this, you can price to $50 to $1,000 per bundle. You can also do a 30 day plan partner with five creators, produce one repurpose bundle each and charge for monthly packages. And the fifth business idea is a publishable ebook and lead magnets. So this one can be ebooks, toolkits, checklists using deep research and notebook LM's content generation. So this you're going to draft chapters with notebook LM, design in Canva, add citations and data tables exported from sheets. Okay, you can price this at $9 to $49 per ebook and bundle into courses. You can also do a 30 day plan with a seven chapter ebook 
that is creating a one page lead magnet and promote via Pinterest and email. Now, before you sell anything on Notebook LM, it's good to have a little bit of ethics just to avoid any issues with Google and also to keep yourself legit. So the first thing that you want to do is to verify sources, especially for health, finance and legal content. So always open the cited source and confirm. You also want to add your value. AI drafts are a starting point. Add original examples, tests or case studies. You also want to respect copyright. So don't republish paywalled work verbatim. Use Notebook LM to paraphrase and cite. You also want to disclose AI usage. This one is the best practice. So be transparent in your product pages. 